Want to learn to make some bomb ass chocolate chip cookies? Keep watching. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make some chocolate chip cookies and the ingredients you'll need today are some chocolate chips, some baking soda, some salt, brown sugar, regular sugar, some eggs, butter, some flour. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the butter. Make sure it's room temperature so it's easy to work with. We're going to chop that up into little squares. Chopping it into smaller pieces makes it easier so when we combine it with the sugar and cream it together, it'll cream pretty smoothly. All right, got our butter. Next step, we're gonna get our sugars, our butter, and we're gonna mix them until they're creamed together. Yep, so I got a sifter. You're gonna sift that sugar. This step isn't necessary for the sugar, but when you bake the cookies, it makes them that much more refined. Now, when you're sifting brown sugar, you're gonna wanna sift it through, get pretty rough with it. I mean, the molasses makes it kind of hard to go through, but it's well worth it. All right, nice. Yep, so we got them all combined. Next thing is set up our KitchenAid. You don't really necessarily need a KitchenAid. You can do this all by hand if you wanted to, but I have one, so why not? All right, start off at a low speed and gradually go higher until you reach the desired consistency. As you can see, it got a little bit more creamier, and that's the kind of consistency you're looking for. All right, take it off. Now to this, we're gonna add our eggs and our vanilla. And I put that back on the KitchenAid, or if you're doing this by hand, just put it on the creamy mixture. Get our whisk attachment. Pop that bad boy back on there. All right, now let's get to whisking. As you can see when whisking just the sugar, butter, and the egg with the vanilla, it doesn't really look that pretty. But trust me, just trust the process. It'll get there. All right, now that we reach the dry consistency, we're gonna get our sifter again. This time we're gonna sift all the dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with the flour. Let's pop that back in there. All right, now that we got the flour, we're gonna add our baking soda and our salt. Now, one thing you will notice differently about this recipe compared to my other ones, this one is very precisely weighed out in grams. So when you're baking, it's more of a science then just following the recipe, make sure it's exactly on point to get exactly these perfect cookies. All right, now that they're all combined, put it back on the KitchenAid. Now be very careful. Start off really, really low. If you start off high, all the flour is just gonna fly everywhere. Just whisk that bad boy. As you can see, the cookies are slowly starting to form. The more you go, the more fast you can go, and the more it looks like actual cookie dough. Yep. Keep on going, keep on going. Looking pretty creamy. Now you can taste it at this point. I know I did. Yep, so when you reach the consistency you want, add in them chocolate chips. You can add as many or as little. I would say more is always better when it comes to chocolate chip cookies. Just whisk them together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, looking like chocolate chip cookies now, isn't it? I told you to trust the process. I went through so many different recipes through school, before school, and after school, trying to get the best chocolate chip cookies. This is a recipe that I probably would get tattered on myself. That's how good it is. If you don't believe me, test it out yourself. It's delicious every single time. 
All right, now that we got our cookie dough, we're gonna transfer them to the bowl so it'll be easier for you guys to see on camera instead of having to show this big ass KitchenAid bowl. And like I said, you could always taste the cookie dough. If it's missing something, like it needs a little bit more salt, don't be afraid to add it in there. Especially if you want vanilla and you want like a really vanilla chocolate chip cookie dough, you could always add more vanilla. Heck, you could even add matcha powder. Sometimes I like to add matcha powder. All right, now that we got our cookie dough ready, we're gonna set up our baking sheet. For this, we're gonna need some handy Danny Reynolds wrap. All right, place that on there. Make sure it's well tight on the edges. You wanna bake them evenly. Just slowly. Now we get our butter. Now, if you ever use glue sticks in elementary school or at any point, same process. Just imagine you're gluing a giant piece of paper and you want every single piece to stick. And at this point, I forgot to turn on the oven. It's probably the first thing you should do. Always preheat your oven. Yep, we're preheating it to 400 degrees. We're going to bake these for about 12 to 13 minutes, depending. All right, so I'm going to use an ice cream scoop. To a two ounce scoop and then I'm using the back of my knife level it out so I make sure that each drop of cookie dough is the same width if they're any bit bigger or smaller it's actually gonna bake a little bit different so you want them to be consistent if this video gets a hundred likes I'll do another chocolate chip cookie video showcasing how you can do this all by hand without using any kind of machine like the KitchenAid I did in this video. Honestly, I would say it's funner doing it by hand and it's more rewarding eating a cookie like that. But for sake of convenience for this video, I had to use a KitchenAid. I like really thick cookies, so I was only able to get six cookie doughs on there. If you use a smaller scoop, like a one ounce, you can obviously put more, maybe up to 12, but these, they kind of flatten out, not too, too much. All right. Yep, so after 12 to 13 minutes, got our cookies. Look at those. Look at those. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Wait a second. You know what a cookie needs? Cookie's best friend, that's right. A glass of milk. Pour up a glass. Ain't nothing better than fresh cookies and a cold glass of milk. Am I right? All right, cheers. You know the deal. Let's put these cookies on a nice plate. Presentable. All right, there we go. Got some chocolate chip cookies. Like I said, try this recipe. Let me know what you think. You know the deal. Got to take a bite of them cookies. Fresh out the oven. Let's see what these cookies dealing with. A little bit of milk action. That's right, delicious. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.